hi everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to find your original windows 11 or windows 10 activation key did you know your computer has a secret windows key built right into its motherboard since 2012 pc manufacturers like hp dell lenovo and asus have stopped printing product keys on stickers instead they now embed your windows line since digitally inside the bios or uefi a system called oem activation 3.0 this means you don't need to type your product key during installation anymore. Your Windows activates automatically when connected to the internet. Even if you install or reset your PC, your license stays safe, permanently tied to your motherboard. Watch this video to the end. I will show you how to check if your PC has a digital key embedded and which Windows edition it originally came with. This method works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Whether you bought a PC from HP, Dell or Lenovo, don't skip any step. To know your original Windows 10 or Windows 11 product key activation key, you need to take note of this. The default edition of your laptop or PC came with. The default edition of your laptop has the OEM activation key embedded in the motherboard. Here are several ways to find the default edition of your Windows. If you right click on the Windows icon and select system, you can see the Windows edition you are using. This is my default Windows edition, that is Windows 11 Home. If by doing some installation and your default Windows 11 edition has been changed, don't worry, I will teach you how to find your default Windows edition. Start by opening Windows PowerShell as administrator. Now you are going to type this command and hit enter. If you are using either Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro and this command returns a key, that's your embedded OEM key. However, note this carefully. Even if you are currently running Windows 11 Pro and your OEM key appears, that key will only activate your default edition. For example, if your default Windows edition is Home and you try to use that OEM key to activate a Pro edition of Windows, it won't work. This key only works on your default edition. So if you enter this key, and your windows didn't activate that means you are not on your default windows edition so if your current windows edition is home and it is not your default windows edition then you have to upgrade your windows home to pro let me show you go to windows settings select system scroll all the way down to activation then click on it please make sure to disconnect your internet connection before proceeding now click on upgrade your edition of windows Click on change product key. Enter this product key here. I will put the product key into the description so you can copy and paste. After pasting the product key, click on next. You will see a message prompting you to upgrade your edition of Windows. Click start to begin the update process. The system will then prepare the upgrade and automatically restart. You can also watch my video on this process for a detailed walkthrough. Now here is the most important thing. If you are on this Levin Pro and it is not your default Windows edition, then you have to downgrade your Windows 11 Pro to Home. Here's how to do it. Download the latest Windows 11 ISO file from the official Microsoft website. Go to your browser and search for Windows 11 download. Make sure you download the latest version. Scroll all the way down and find Download Windows 11 Dex Image ISO for 64 bit devices. Select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for 64 bit devices. Scroll down and select a product language. You will need to choose the same language when you install Windows to see what language you are currently using. Go to time and language in your PC settings. Once you see it, select it and click on confirm. Click on 64 bit download. Our ISO file is now downloading. Once your download finished, search for registry editor on the Windows search icon. Make sure to run it as administrator.
in the registry, look for HK Local Machine, then click on Software, then Microsoft. You are going to scroll all the way down here to Windows NT and click on the current version. Here are the three areas that I'm going to modify, the product name and the edition ID. The product name, right now it says Windows 10 Pro, double click on it and change it from Pro to Home. Now the edition ID says professional, I'm going to double click that and I'm going to change that to Core. When you are done, close the registry. Next, locate the ISO file you downloaded. I click on it and mount it. Make sure to note your WT. You can see mine is F. Now search for CMD and make sure to run it as administrator. You are going to type this. Type your drive letter with colon and hit enter. Type DIR to display the content of the mounted ISO. Type CD space sources to change the directory. Now type this command carefully. Setup prep dot ESC space forward slash product server and hit enter. This will start prepping the Windows 11 setup. Click on change how the setup download update. Click on us right now and click on next. Accept the line systems. You are going to keep all personal files and apps, then click on next. At this point, we are ready to install. Now, as you can see here, we are going to be installing Windows 11 Home Edition. Now, after you have found the Windows Edition, whether being Home or Pro, if your OEM key is embedded in the firmware, detect it again. To check for an OEM key in the firmware, open PowerShell as administrator. Type or paste this command carefully and hit enter. If this returns a key, that means the OEM key resides in the motherboard firmware. So that's the Windows activation key. Go to Windows settings, select system, scroll down and click on activation. Go ahead and activate your Windows using the OEM key. Now let me show you a command to confirm whether the license is OEM. Right click on command prompt, then run it as administrator. Type this command SLMGL space forward slash DLI. A small window will pop up showing details. Look for the line that says Windows Core Edition. Windows Operating System, OEM underscore DM channel, partial product key, licensing status. If you saw this, that means you have an OEM digital license permanently linked to your computer's motherboard. It is genuine and safe. So there you have it. That's exactly how to find your original and genuine Windows 10 or Windows 11 activation key embedded right inside your motherboard. Remember, your OEM key is what keeps your Windows activated for life on that device, even after reset or reinstalls, it is your PC's permanent digital identity. So make sure to copy and keep it safe somewhere. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss more Windows tips and troubleshooting guys like this one. And if you run into any issue or got a different result, drop a comment below. I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.